everyone, it's Sean again, coming at you with video number three. And as you can see in the title, it's about blessings in disguise. So mostly everyone knows what a blessing in disguise is. It's something that you think was completely terrible, but it turns out to be one of the best experiences in your life. It's a blessing in disguise. So to give you a little background on a blessing in disguise I had, it was about a year and a half ago, I was at a military school. And I actually got in a lot of trouble, so much to the point where I had to put papers in to leave before I got kicked out. And I was pretty bummed. I didn't, I didn't know that what I did was such a serious offense. And anyways, I came home and people were disappointed in me, especially my parents. And for the longest time, I thought, damn, I really screwed up. I went from a nice, secure job and a secure future to coming home with pretty much nothing. It was like three steps backwards. And so I didn't really understand until today or just recently that that was a blessing in disguise. Because when I got home, I was able to transform my life through reading books, through learning about health and fitness, losing all this weight because I was also a football player. And just taking everything and putting it together now, I realized that leaving there, I was unhappy. I was sad. I was, I was depressed. And I came home and I started reading books and learning from different people and getting different perspectives because I was just enjoying myself. And I realized that, dang, I took two steps back, but I took 15 steps forward. God, I actually did that for a reason. And I've actually never been happier. And I look back to that moment. I'm like, I'm so glad it happened. I'm so appreciative. But the thing is, guys, what you have to remember is you got to look at the benefit in the situation. You got to see the bright side of the situation, not just look at the negative. I used to look at the negative like I got kicked out of school. I suck. But then I realized, damn, I'm home. I have so much time on my hands. What can I do? I started reading books. I started learning about health and fitness. I transformed my life and three different realms, my relationships, my health, and my mental game. And it's awesome. And I've never been so happy and excited. The whole reason this whole entire series has started is because I came home because I realized I have a purpose now. But I hope you guys understand what I'm talking about. Everyone has blessings in disguise. It's just the way you look at it, the way you look at it, guys. But I'm going to read this passage from this book so you can really understand. I'm not an author myself. I will be one day. But this guy, Jack Canfield, he puts it so perfectly clear. So just listen. Naturally, there will be times in our lives where when sadness, grief, and sorrow are present, there is a natural ebb and flow in life. And without the lows, we would not appreciate the highs. Without the darkness, we would not appreciate the light. These painful times are often highly underrated opportunities for emotional and spiritual growth. They can provide us with a much needed frame of reference and help us by contrast and comparison to recognize and appreciate the many blessings in our life. So when I read that, I was like, wow, that makes so much sense. You have to see that the darkness the, that the situation, it's, it's not as bad as it really is. There's always a bright side. And obviously there, are, there is some negativity in it, but it makes you appreciate what you have now. It makes you appreciate and look at it differently, guys. So I think, I really hope you guys understand. I really hope this hits you somewhere in here where it, you just click and you're like, the situation I'm in right now isn't that bad. I'm going to look at it differently. This is a new opportunity, a new way to take my, my life to the next level. So thank you so much, guys, for listening. I'm just really excited that I can share some of this knowledge with you. And like I always say, if this touches one person's life and changes it to make them better in any way, I've done my job. So guys, if you learn anything, share it with a friend, comment, leave something. For me, I can, I can comment back. I can help you out if you need it. But until next time, I'll talk to you then.